Hey guys, welcome back to the second time Lucky Mining channel. In today's quick video, we are going to have a look at how do I control the bandwidth usage of my Flux node. If you like the Flux content, please smash the like button or maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. It will help me out a great deal. But enough of shilling my channel, let's jump into the content. Now, in today's video, I'll show you guys how I control the bandwidth usage and that's bandwidth both from an SSD speed and also from an internet speed on my Flux node. Now, why specifically am I doing that? Well, I'm running more than just a flux node on my computer and on my network right i've got other services and i don't want flux to consume everything that is available in terms of bandwidth in my home so that's why i like to throttle at least control the bandwidth usage of my flux node now i'm going to specifically look at proxmox and the settings within proxmox that i use to control the bandwidth usage of my flux node if you're using another hypervisor that is not proxmox or something completely different i would advise you to go and have a look at the settings that's available or if not have a look at the mining kings video i'll leave a link in the video description and tag it at the top but he's got a great video on wonder shaper and it's something that he used to control the bandwidth but specifically in this video we will have a look at proxmox because i love proxmox and that's what i use specifically to manage my different vms and nodes now enough talking about it let me jump on the computer and i'll show you guys how i manage the bandwidth of my flux node okay so here we go on the computer now what i've got open here on the left hand side is my flux node app and it's currently got my live flux node on and then on the right i have ssh into my flux node and i've also changed the user to make sure that i'm in the user that the node was originally installed at now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take my website and scroll a little bit to the right and focus on what we're actually going to have a quick look at now the first one is dws so this is the disk write speed and if you hover your mouse over the tooltip it will show you what the specifications are so my node needs to be um, hitting the disk write speed within these limits. It's a cumulus node, so it needs to hit the cumulus numbers, which is about 180 megabytes a second. Now, the other two metrics that we are going to control, or at least throttle today, is the download and upload speed. So, as you can see here, I get about 1000 DWS, and then if I hover my mouse over download here, I should be doing 25 megabits, so small b, and 25 megabits up and down. So, currently it's about 100 down, and close to 40 up so that's basically the total speed of my internet connection on my uh, nvme i can actually get a little bit better than this but that's just some of the other applications that i run and that's really why i want to control it a little bit because i use my internet and the same ssd for other things as well so i just want to be within the specification just to make sure that there's enough resources for some of the other services that i run this also becomes useful if you're running multiple flux node on the same specific vm so you want to make sure that every or one of your flux node really only consumes what the specifications are just to make sure that there's enough for um, all of your nodes to pass benchmarks so that's really what we are going to control now if you don't want to use my website to have a look at these type of things and you actually want to use the ssh terminal here the easiest way at least that i like to look at it if i just go take go to my website go to guides and just scroll a little bit further down if you wanted to manage the benchmarks you can get the information if you run this flux bench cli space get info um, but what I like to do, and this is also where you can restart the benchmark, stop it, start it, do whatever you want here. So this is the specific commands for that. But what I like to do is I like to have a look at Car's website here. So I'm just going to use that for now and show you how cool it is. I'm going to paste it in into my terminal here on the right hand side. And it will open up his little tool. Now specifically for the benchmarks, I'm going to hit B. And it will show me the benchmark information. So again, my website and typically what you would see on your node, within your node, is the same thing. So here you can see my disk write speed is 942 and there's my download and upload speed right there. So that's really the type of data that we want to control. So what I'm going to do next is have a look at Proxmox and I'll show you where I'm going to control the DWS speed and also my upload and download speed. Okay, so let's jump in Proxmox and actually limit it. Now, what I'm going to do is just going to go to Proxmox here. I've selected my Cumulus node that is running and specifically where I'll find those settings is in hardware. And the first thing that we're going to have a look at is the hard drive here. So this is the SSD. So I'm just going to select it 
and select edit. And if I go to the bandwidth section here on the right hand side, this is where I would limit it. Now here you can see there is MB slash A, so that's megabytes. So that's what the Flux team looks at. So currently, as you can see here, it's unlimited. So what I'm going to do is, um, let's just go with 250 as an example. So what I like to do, and I'll copy it across all of the burst and the limits. So what again, what I like to do is not have it at the limit of the benchmarks. Uh, so I like to give it a little bit of wiggle room just to make sure that it will at least uh, hands down past the benchmark. So for that to take effect, I'm just going to hit OK and it's taken effect there. Now, the other thing that we're going to do is limit my download and upload speed here. So as you can see here currently on the right on my notes, it's about 100 down and 40 megabits up. Now, if I just go to edit on my network setting here, um, and then if I have a look at the rate limit here, so what's interesting, if you look at the flux um, specifications, it's supposed to be megabits, um, but within Proxmox, you need to limit it megabytes here. So you can see it's a big B versus the small B. Now, in this case, what I'm going to do, unfortunately, you can't limit it up and down. You can just rate uh, or limit the rate and in my case I'm going, just going to say three so that again is more than the 25 megabits um, so it should pass the benchmark again I'm doing the same thing I'm just making sure that I have it within the specification now what I'm going to do next is go back to my flux node here on the right hand side and then restart the benchmarks now specifically how would I go about that if I just select here and quit out of course uh, little app here and if I jump back to my website as I've mentioned earlier at the top here uh, one of the tooltips here in the guide section manage flux, flux benchmarks on number 19 I'm just going to restart the benchmarks right so there's the command for me to restart the benchmarks so I'll just select that and paste it in there and again paste this right click and what you will see, it's going to say benchmarks will restart in the next couple of minutes. Now, again, I just need to be a little bit patient. And then we're going to have a look at the latest benchmark results. OK, so I think the benchmarks are done and dusted. Now, let's go and have a look at the results and see if it's actually worked. So let me open up Cars website. Again, you could have used the benchmark transaction there or uh, but I, I really like Cars website. I think the layout looks great. Also doesn't expose my public IP, so <laughs> that's another reason why I like it. Um, I'm going to go B just to have a look at the benchmarks. And here, as you can see, my download and upload speed is just above the specification, right? So you can see 25 download and 26 upload. Now, as I mentioned, Proxmox is not necessarily perfect. Now, what you will also see is the disk write speed here is also way down from what it was. So I think I set it to 250. So as you can see here, it's not exactly perfect. And that's why I like to add a little bit of fat within the Proxmox settings. Now, again, if you wanted to use my website to have a look, if I just jump back to my node, you will actually see the results. Now, if I scroll back here and I've switched privacy mode on, and I scroll a little bit on the right hand side here is again where you now will see that the specifications that you see within your flux node is also reflecting on my website and it's taking my throttled or controlled results that I've managed to put in in Proxmox into account here. So as you can see, my disk write speed is way down from, let's say, the thousand that it was and the same with my upload and download. Now I'm restricting my flux node to just be within the specifications of what the flux team has put out. And hence, I can use the extra bandwidth again for other services that I wanted to run at home. And that's really how easy it is to manage your bandwidth within Proxmox specifically for your Fluxnode. And you can use it again, not just for Flux, you can use it for other things as well. Now, a hint that I can give you guys is make sure that you do these type of throttling type of things after you've set up and installed Flux. Um, you know, if you limit the download and you limit some of these speeds, some of the installation process just takes super long. So that's just a tip. Just make sure that you limit the stuff after you've done installing. But that's really it, it for this video, guys. If you've liked the video, please like the video and maybe consider subscribing. If you didn't, please specify in the comments what you didn't like and hopefully I can make a change. Cheers.